Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about nutrition and supplements and the kind of things I take uh, in the morning every day. So, um, so you guys can keep track of what exactly I'm doing and maybe apply some of it to your own weight loss goals. And yeah, so um, I'm going to start with my vitamins. So usually I take, well, I always take every morning one of these. If you guys can see that, um, it is a one-a-day multivitamin women's formula. It has lots of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, E, everything. It's got niacin, which is um, is known to like warm you up, uh, which helps burn calories. Um, it's got lots of iron, which is important, and biotin, which is good for your hair and your skin and everything. Um, if I don't take that one, then I take this one. Uh, this is called Activit, and I actually got it from Beachbody. I ordered P90X, which I will be doing a review on, uh, so you guys can see how it works, and I'll make sure to do before and after pictures and everything. Um, I've noticed a lot of women that do P90X, it's not how it's portrayed on the infomercial so I'm definitely going to be honest and upfront about that but I got these with it and if you guys want to order it you can get it off team Beachbody or Beachbody.com or one of those I'll make sure and put a link uh, down below and it is a metabolism formula it says vitamins for active people and since I'm trying to be more active I guess that works in my favor so um, it's either one or the other because they're both uh, multivitamin, so you don't need both. You just take one. Just take one in the morning. Um, on top of that, I do also take this. It is called Biotin, and it is for your skin, your hair, and your nails. So, if you want to keep your hair beautiful and lustrous and your skin nice and clear and clean and um, your nails nice and strong, then that's important. Um, I take it all as well because even though it's in the multivitamin I take it because when you're changing your diet which generally when you are uh, attempting to lose a lot of weight you obviously are gonna have to change your diet because something isn't working so I take it to ensure that no matter what I'm changing inside um, it's gonna stay nice on my hair and my nails and stuff because that stuff can change when you change your diet it says you can take up to five uh, generally, I take two just because it's also in my multivitamin. So I'll take my multivitamin and my biotin. Another really good one if you want to focus on really healthy hair that grows faster and longer and stronger and a uh, nice skin, nails, B Complex is another one. If you want to take some like a triple dose that you can do, biotin, B Complex, um, and then a little extra vitamin D. However, vitamin D is also in the sun, so you can just go outside to get that too. So yeah, um, those are really good for hair and nails and skin, which is important when you're trying to lose weight. So those are my vitamins, and I'll also make a list below, so if you guys want to, you know, check on it and see. Um, after I take my vitamins, I take stuff for my digestion, which is really important to me because I personally believe that without good digestion um, you're not going to be able to process your food as well especially when you're changing your diet you got to be able to make sure that everything all the food you're consuming that your body is taking up all the nutrients and vitamins and antioxidants to keep you healthy and keep you from getting stomach aches and heartburn, acid indigestion, all those kind of things as you're trying uh, maybe new foods on your diet. So to help with that, I take this right here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Um, oops, sorry. It's called Acuflora. Ah, no bitch. And um, it's a probiotic. So, probiotic acidophilus is what it says. It's for digestive support, helps replenish uh, beneficial bacteria. It's pretty much the stuff um, that you need that's found in yogurt, is in this. So, it's really important, I think, for your digestion to make sure that you have something. 
Um, even if you think it's okay right now, it might be something that you can be preventing by taking something like this while you're changing your diet. Um, on top of that, I also take these. And these are fiber pills. Uh, these ones are chewable, they're orange. I don't really like them, like they're not bad, but they're not like Flintstone vitamins good. So I, you know, you can try the chewables if you want, you might like them. I personally will get the pills next time and just swallow them with my other stuff. Okay, so also for my digestion to help with everything, I take this. Now this is for heartburn and acid indigestion. Because of the changes in my eating habits, um, I actually suffered from it a lot worse the way I used to eat before. I would get really bad acid indigestion. That's when your throat burns right in here and you get that yucky uh, sour taste in the back of your mouth and, or the back of your throat. And it's really, ugh. like, if you know what I'm talking about, you hate it. If you don't have those symptoms, though, you don't need this, okay? The digestive support you can still take. Uh, the fiber you definitely need. Fiber is very important. Um, especially with maintaining and losing weight, but this is more just like an added bonus if you have any kind of um, acid indigestion at all, and it works great. It's way better than Tums. So those three things are perfect for helping with my digestion so I can make sure that I get all of the vitamins and minerals and supplements and everything in my, in my body like I'm supposed to, and that it all comes out the way it's supposed to um, without giving me stomach aches and stuff. Okay, so I take my vitamins, I take my digestive control stuff, and then there's one more uh, group of pills that I, I take, um, and it's this one. Okay, you can see that. Um, green tea, I've read a lot on it that it is really, really good for you. Sorry, those are my dogs. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but <laughs> puppies, stop. But, um... Yeah, so I saw this at Walmart, and it's only like $5, I think, so I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not, but I'd been reading up, and you know, it says that it helps with boost your metabolism and give you energy and, and uh, helps burn fat and all that stuff, so I figured I would give it a try, and honestly, it has worked really good with um, suppressing my appetite so I don't overeat, because overeating is like, you know, my biggest flaw, that's why I gained so much weight. So yeah, so I got these, and they work really good, and they give you lots of energy. Um, if I don't take this, then I take this. Can I see that? Lipozine. Okay, if you haven't heard of lipozine, it is um, diet pill. Now, I don't promote diet pills. I'm not going to say I promote diet pills for me because I have so much weight to lose and I do have issues with uh, overeating. Um, this helps suppress my ap appetite because it keeps you from eating just because you're bored or just because you are sad or happy or you know you eat you're supposed to eat to bring nutrients into your body and keep yourself healthy to survive and live a long healthy life not just because it's fun so that's why I take these but I don't recommend diet pills like to anyone I'm not gonna like sponsor diet pills or anything but um, I mean they, they worked for me they just don't take both you can't take this and the liposine because that's just not you're not gonna do good with that so um, yeah so that's all I take and I will put a list below and um, places you could probably find them but most of it you can get it like Walmart or GNC or any of those um, vitamin places uh, where they you know can get nutritional supplements and stuff um, there are a couple other things that I don't have with me that I take some I add to things sometimes that would be like a whey protein um, stuff like that, but I guess that's going to be a different video, so, uh, we'll go shopping together next time, and I'll show you guys some, like, substitutes for everyone that's craving, you know, the things you know you're not supposed to have, so, yeah, um, if you guys have any questions or you have any advice, just feel free to let me know, um, don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later, thanks, bye!